Okay. Now, so we can get so Dave and Kim out of here. Uh, first, first item is Conant. Conant and the fire trucks. They want, they want a runway you can land a 747 on to go into Jeffrey Bump's um, site. The, the question is how to how to deal with this because this keeps coming up and uh, over and over and over again. Um, and my suggestion is we <clears throat> we we bring Bob Michelle into the picture and give him the parameters and ask him to do an analysis of what the real you know what's what what the real requirements are as opposed to the, the template that we got that show, just shows a huge swath of territory being, being taken out of that front yard. Um, I mean, that's, that's my first reaction. Do you guys have, have any other suggestions? No, I think, that's, I think that would be a, a good approach because the trucks turning in, there's it, it's a great program. Bob uses it all the time. You hear him talk about it. He basically puts the characteristics of the vehicle. It's an add-on to AutoCAD. You can drive the vehicle right in to see what you get where. Um, as opposed to They're coming back in. a template from a manufacturer, which is what we just saw. Right. So things are a little bit more, he'll be able to do a little bit more of solid analysis will probably, I think, too much work. Yeah. And probably also be reassuring to the fire chief too. It's like this is how your vehicle will be put. Right. And at some point we need to develop some standards so that we don't this doesn't just keep coming up over and over and over again. Um, maybe we could begin to look at a more general set of guidelines for how these how these things operate or um, and the trouble is, like, we have many roads in town that are so narrow, I'm thinking my road, that it doesn't matter how big a driver you are. Road. Yeah. You're never going to get a fire <coughs> in there. It's our old way. It's I, just yeah. like, I mean, that's the characteristics of the town. It's just I mean, terrible. Yeah, system. you know, 12-foot driveways off of 10-foot roads, <laughs> that type of thing. I, 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 you know, other towns have this similar issue with, you know, the different boards and public safety and things like that. Um, the hard guidelines, I, I, I don't always think take into account like, you know, world, real world reality. Mm -hmm. uh, those, those tend to be just, in the absence of anything else, overly conservative, uh, you know. Right. Well, what I was thinking is if we started <clears throat> With Bobby Show on the on the the specific Conant Road property, and then talk to him about maybe generating some 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 um, guidelines as to you know if the street is this wide, you know and here and the apparatus is this. Right. What what it, what's what's the minimum necessary for an opening to get into the driveway? That kind of thing. Because what we're missing now, and I, I kind of looked at it quick on that Conant Road, is that you know the geometry of the driveway can change with the turn, and, and we're not getting that now. We're getting like 14 feet of flares that are this right. Two foot flares. Where in reality, Conant Road, because it comes in obtuse to the street, could be wider that narrows down on one side real quick and not the other, you know, something like that. Right. Um, so I, you know, I, I, I think that's the right approach, a thoughtful approach. Um, and then sit down with the fire department and say, look, here's, here's what we're developing. And I, I think with Bob's <laughs> help, they'll start to develop an eye for things, mm -hmm. too. And also might give them guidance, like moving forward on like, you know, pieces of equipment to buy or not or, to buy. or not to buy. Right. 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 I mean, that's, that's part of the, the problem. Yeah, it, it, definitely the tail wagging the dog. If somebody bought yeah. a big piece of equipment, they thought, boy, it has all the bells and whistles. But if it doesn't fit in your town. Yeah, well, they, they, they need um, to carry more now. There's more missions that they need. So the And and those machines aren't, you know, like the people who build houses or build other things. They, they, don't, they don't ever make them smaller. 
I don't know, you know, like. But don't they have fire trucks that have steering wheels in the rear as well, and the rear wheels that also turn, mm -hmm. so they can turn on a tighter radius? Yeah, I think this one might even have it, because, oh, really? you know, for the size of it, it seemed like it was kind of fairly tight, but it's mm -hmm. that wheelbase and, the and you know, what Heritage 2 is the width of the vehicle. Um, oh. And then, the, and then, you know, if then the overhang from the from the from where the tires are to the back or to the front, depending if it's coming or going. Well, also, if if you've got a ladder truck, and for them they're saying, well, we can't get close enough to the house, but we can with a ladder truck we can go laterally. Mm -hmm. But then, in order to do that, so that you don't tip the truck when you get yeah. a lot of weight out there, rangers. you put the the feet out on it. Mm -hmm. You need some place to put the feet down on that will hold it. That's right, but that doesn't have to be asphalt. Right. We found that out a long right. way. Right. right. And they shouldn't be just little landing pads on either side of the road. Right. 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 So we need some standards there, too. You don't have to put the pads on yeah. the asphalt. Right. And, and, you know, you don't have to have, you don't have to have right. it cleared on either side, right. either. It could be, you know, you can, you can have trees into spears, as long as, the, you know, what, there's got to be something we can figure out that we can, Bob can help facilitate that we can, then maybe move on to like developing a better eye towards what would work and not work. Um, again, I uh, the, the 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 bright line geometry things. I've never seen subtle enough to address everything, especially from your perspective. Mm. You know, for it to work for them, it would be fourteen. It would be fourteen feet, two feet on either side. Mm -hmm. Clear. Clear is what it would be. Right. Right. And asphalt. So the your really didn't dig in. So, so but <clears throat> I mean, I, it, it was interesting that one of the arguments that we that we were discussing from from that perspective in the conversation we had with them was that people don't necessarily don't plow the full width of their driveways. Mm -hmm. So we need it to be wider. <laughs> <laughs> so that, what? And I'm thinking. What? Wait, Wait a minute, you're still not going to plow the full width of the driveway if it's right. if the, the plow blade is only so right. wide. Right. So that plow is going to go up that driveway once, and then, you know, and, and it, if it, it, the pavement may be 14 feet, but the, but the driveway is going to be whatever the width of the plow blade is. It's, yeah. No, no. I, go, I, draw, I plow my driveway. You, know, you, do. You, do, but that's you do, you do, but, but the plow drivers that you hire are just going to go up and down. Well, I'm not um, paying you, myself enough. Exactly. <laughs> I, I'm sure that's true. You know, so that, it, it, and we, you know, we've talked about that. There's, there's a limitless number of scenarios that we can spin out where things will not work, mm -hmm. and you would never build anything anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we that's also could be part of the conversation too. You know, proximity to the road, how high. You know, these things are only two dimensional. Like, mm -hmm. you know. If you're gonna, you know, if the house is thirty feet off the road and it's level with the road, you know, you know, I, I, I so then, you know, my response would be, I want ambulances to get really close, but I maybe not a fire truck. You know, do you want a fire truck within ten feet of a house if it's, if it's you know, that, that you know, that's things I don't know the answer to, but I think, you know, again, would help them, look, you know, like if someone like Bob facilitating, mm -hmm. to kind of develop an eye for these things. Right. So maybe we should ask mm -hmm. Bob to come in and we'll talk to him. <laughs> sometime. Sometime. Yes, fair September. September, yeah. right. So uh, what about I, this one? Oh, no. I, I don't, I, my feeling is Jeffrey Bob doesn't get a building permit because I'm not changing him. I don't think we should change our standards to make that driveway 25 feet wide, which is, if you look at that diagram, is what it would take. He's got a ways to go anyway. Yeah. I mean, I think yeah. even if we talk to Bob in September, it'll be all right. Yeah. But Bob could I mean, he just got his building permit. He did get his building permit? It's about to be issued. All right. So this isn't holding up his building permit. We'll hold up his occupancy. His occupancy. That's, oh, that's what fine. He's got, okay, yeah. so he's got, a, he's yeah. got over a year to go right. before that, that happens. Right. So we got time. Also, couldn't we just send Bob the site plan and say, can you please review? This and explain the situation. Then why does he have to, well, have to come? Well, because we need to hire him. Yeah. I know, but it's so we got to. Um, it's also not just for the specific case. No, but we could. Yeah. I know that, but we could start out just solving this problem, and then we can have him come and talk to him about. 
we have the luxury of time in this case. It's yeah. Okay, as long as we have the luxury of time. Yeah. Like you said, if it's holding up the building permit, right. that's a different story. And, and, and yeah, and, you know, you get it. I, I think Bob would be a good philosophical match, but you want to make sure, too. Yeah. He, he can say no. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's possible. Um, okay, so we'll do that. Uh, whenever, I don't know, whenever we have a slot available on our agenda. Yes, let's be looking at, like, September. So, so the idea, you think, is, you know, Bob help facilitate a conversation with one or two of us and the, and the fire chief. September, sorry, third. And Dave. Dave. September 3rd. You know, September 7th. Yeah, uh, because there's some landscape considerations here, too. But you know, as, not necessarily as part of a, a whole meeting, but, you know, yeah. sort of like a subcommittee kind of thing? Or what do you think? Uh, I'm thinking maybe. Might be easier on the smaller group, you know. Well, to develop the standard, maybe. But uh, let's, let's play it by, by ear. But I, I'd be interested to hear what Bob has to say about yeah. how he'd like to do it. You might want to do it with a smaller group, or you might want to do it, you know, at the table, work on his own, and come back and make a presentation to us or something. Well, I don't know this fire chief well, but I know a lot of fire chiefs, and I suspect they'd be like, we're going to call me in front of the board, and, well, you know, they get well, maybe defensive we need before to have a working you walk through session the with the fire chief and Bob. No. And yeah, I mean, we need, first we need Bob to do his thing, and then we got right. to figure out how we present it to the to the fire department. And, and, the, and the chief might appreciate the professional help. I mean, they're, they're professionals that are, you know, not in roadway geometry and turning radiuses and things, right. you know, so. Your, your nail is right on the head. You know, so they, they, I, I, I would hope that we could present it as, you know, helping provide you with guys with a resource that will help you make these decisions. Right, exactly. Okay. Good. So we're we're all set on that one. You guys are free to go. See so they're and they're they're waiting out there to talk about the science. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. I like that. Oh. Good night, guys. Good night. Thank Bye. you. Thank you.